you don't mind doing Whitaker Chambers work with us, that would be terrific. Um, and, it was, and it's sort of an interesting thing because when, when Susan and I were married in 1970, uh, I get this right here, 1973, uh, June 16th, the earth you're listening, uh, I had uh, 10 groups. And I was trying to think, what could I give each of these men who had been in different ways, really young men at that time, who had been important in my life in different ways. You know, you could get them cufflinks, or you could get them a paperweight or something. Uh, and I decided to give them two books. Uh, the first was Witness, uh, and the second uh, was a collection of Whitaker Chambers letters that he had sent to uh, Bill Buckley. I, I got to know Bill, and Bill was talking so much about the impact uh, that Whitaker Chambers had had on him and on National Review in the early days. So I asked Bill if he would write uh, a note to all my groomsmen. And I just thought I'd read to you what uh, Bill said on June 16, 1973, in a little note that he then prepared for each of our groomsmen. He said, Chambers was above all a poet with a poet's understanding of political affairs, which is both good and bad. Good if you know and like and learn from the poet's vision. Disastrous if you read a poet the way you would read the Kinsey Report. <laughs> I think what Bill was trying to capture, what I want to try to share with you a little bit tonight about really one of the most profound books that was ever written in the 20th century witness, uh, by Whitaker Chambers is just that, that Chambers was a poet. He saw more deeply into things than the normal material things. It's like if you look at this uh, piece of wood and you see a shelf, but in point of fact, if you could penetrate it with the poet's eyes and you think of the trees that were grown and how they were nurtured and the seedlings, all of which were shaped in different ways in the hands of the laborers who brought them uh, to, to market and to shape them into something that was useful for human people. Uh, to see a thing in its whole pattern of its existence, uh, not just at any particular moment in time, but when you do see something at a particular moment in time, you see it more deeply than it just appears on the outside. Because Chambers recognized that the most powerful thing is the invisible is the invisible sense of who we are in our very essence in our souls. It will change your life. It will change the way you think about the very world you find yourself in, even though it was written in 1952. You know, we, we criticize you know, Marx and Nietzsche and, and, and others of the left in different ways, but what really Chambers said is the great attraction is that it gives the person a sense of purpose. You may say it's a disjointed purpose, but every human purpose, every human person is looking for me. Who am I? What am I about? Why do I exist? And every human person, whether you know it or not, has a poet's mind. But the whole point is, is that in searching for meaning, what the communists offer, what the communist ideology offers, was a vision of the person and of the world. And, and as Marx said, the philosophers explain the world. We just want to change it. And whenever you exist in a, in a situation in which a, a fall on human beings, you can look around and you're going to see the ugliness that exists because of that, the way people mistreat each other. And everybody recognizes that the, in the imperfections of life, there must be a solution. There must be a way of alleviating that suffering, that injustice. And what the communist offers is a reason to die for something. Let me ask you a question. Tell me what any of you would be willing to die for. What would you be willing to die for? It's very interesting that the whole idea of witness or martyrdom is, is that, and it's why the title of the book, it ultimately, it, for all of us, that's why this is really, each for each of us, it is our own autobiography. 
the details that you'll find in this book, which is, the, which is this is the copy of the book I, when I first read Witness, uh, when I was in college. Um, and the reason Chambers chose that term was that every human person has to one day, and really every day, you were a witness, not against something, but for something. And if you are a witness in the Greek sense of tragedy, you are a martyr. In other words, you are willing to whatever it is that you are in the most fundamental way witnessing for, are you willing to die for? 